Pew Saturation Tool is also an excellent tool. Not as frequently used though, but uh, when you want to adjust the saturation is quite helpful. So let's go ahead and get over that to the menu and you can also click Control U as a keyboard shortcut. In the window, the first thing you see is that you're editing the master channel. And what that basically is, is you're affecting all the colors in the color wheel at once versus an individual color on the color wheel. And the top rainbow, as you can see here, is the is the basically all the colors in the image, or all the possible colors that c an image could have. And the below, and the, and the a rainbow strip below that is the your result on that image. So when you drag the hue le lever, you're basically uh, reassigning the colors from the above rainbow to the below rainbow. As you can see, for example, the blues get shifted into the greens, as in as you move that, that goes into the reds and so forth. And you can do the same thing backwards. So that's all that is. I happen to like the way the hue looked in the beginning. Uh, so now for the saturation, if you want to adjust the saturation of the overall image, you can just use this master channel and uh, just raise the saturation until you like it. Now if you want to, or decrease it, you know, if you want to give that uh, old faded look to your image. But if you want it to only affect a certain portion of the colors in the image, let's say the reds in this dress, then you would need to switch over to one of the other channels other than the mask. And it doesn't really matter which channel you choose, Photoshop will automatically reselect the one that's closest to it. So let's choose yellows just for fun. And you, as you can see, automatically this color uh, eyedropper tool appears and it's available for you to pick a color. So if you hit well, you know a red area on this image and you just right left click it and automatically it'll sered, select reds even though we had yellow selected before and you will see these two uh, bars in the bottom uh, and basically that is for re reassigning different uh, hues or different colors to the colors that you have selected so if we drag the hues lever you will start to see, for example, we're reassigning the reds into greens right now. And the, the above uh, color strip is the areas that are being affected. When closing the left bracket and the right br innermost bracket, this is the basically where all the major changes happen. And this is where it's all the major reassignments happen. And this gray space between the inner bracket and the outer pointy bracket is the drop-off area, basically as the changes drop off to zero slowly. And you can adjust this by dragging this and you can see the the feathering will stretch on the below graph. You can also adjust the innermost bracket and see how much of the colors you want to affect. And you can also click and hold the gray area in between and shift both at the same time. So as you can see we have successfully reassigned most of the reds into greens and lips as well as partially the hand is affected. But that wasn't really what we were after. I just wanted to show you how this, uh, these two strips and the little bars are affect, you know, of what they represent. What I really wanted to do was adjust the saturation. So let's go ahead and call down the Alt key and that'll turn their cancel button into reset and click that and that'll reset everything to original. Let's reselect yellows again and with the eyedropper tool select the reds in the dress. Now when you try when you drag the saturation lever, it'll adjust only those reds appearing that are enclosed by these brackets below, and nothing else will be adjusted as you can see. Let's make an exaggerated adjustment of plus one hundred on the saturation and then adjust these brackets as you can see. The more uh, as I drag it to the left, the more colors are being affected and the saturation increased on. And as I compress it closer to the other one, the less colors are being affected. And as I drag the drop-off area, the drop-off area gets affected less or more. And you can hold the center 
to shift the overall area of the image so I would just do it until most of the area I want to adjust is, is affected. A little bit of the hand is affected but unfortunately there really isn't I can do that at the moment for that right now. As Instead of dragging this uh, two strips on the bottom you can also use the plus and minus dropper tools. For example if we hit the minus tool and click let me bring this image a little closer and hit on this little purple bluish area that should decrease, actually it's already been not being affected so let's hit on these lips. If I hit on these lips I can adjust or basically remove the colors that I don't want to be affected and you can kinda see that as I'm clicking and dragging those are starting to be not affected and you can also add colors like for example I've hit on this blue all of a sudden with the plus eyedropper all of a sudden the blue is also being saturated as is, as it was added to our uh, colors that we're affecting now instead of using the actual droppers you can also use the shift er, the shift button which turns the air the, the drive dropper into a plus or the alt button which changes it into a minus so those are the shortcuts instead of having to select the dropper tools from the window right here alright so let's go ahead and get those blues out of our image once again and adjust this a little bit and tone down that saturation get, get a little back on their image apologize about that beep and uh, as you can see now, we've affected the reds in the dress without affecting the, you know, pretty much most of the other image. And you can do that individually for any of the color ranges you like. And um, and that's basically all there is to to the the hue saturation tool.